what's up? Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's good? Red Panda Anthem. It's your boy. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about the um the S P. Well, let's talk about the stock, the top five stock market losses from 2028 to 2021, and what we can learn from them. I mean, I got this post from Josh Brown, and we talked about this maybe maybe the fifth episode of Market Mondays. But write this down. Only five percent of the time, the market would drop forty percent or more. For those of you that experienced this for the first time last week, I'm sorry, but it will make you a better investor. But those are also the times to be buying when everyone is like panicking and everyone in the world is talking about it, right? Um, only 10% of the time does the market drop 30% or more. 20% of the time does it drop um, 20% or more. And then 95% of the time, the market off the all-time highs will drop 5%. It is a game of patience. So when a market drops 40, write this down, to 63%, for a quality top 50 company, that's when you want to look to buy. That's when you want to start to load the boat. Stock Club, I'll have those percentages in there for you um, tomorrow as well. So don't worry, worry about that. But that's why I say 5% off the high. If you're buying there, you have a 95% chance of where you bought at, it's going to go against you. Just wait to buy deeper uh, in a deeper hole and, and you'll be good. It is ultimately a game of patience. And I want all of you to be wealthy. I want all of you to be rich. I want all of you to be master investors. And truth be told, there is no competition in, in investing because if you're buying equities, no one person or group of black people collectively could buy all the shares in the company. It's impossible. So if we team together and get in at the best prices, we all collectively can make money and be wealthy together. But you have to wait for these spots and know what the probabilities are in the market. Yeah, and the time and the time of, of when these crashes were occurring, like that's important too. Like if you look at uh, if you look at Black Monday, October, and if you look at dot com bubble again in October, September, same thing with the financial crisis for two thousand eight, September, October, Corona obviously happened in in March, um, and I think nineteen twenty the nineteen twenty nine stock market crash started in March, um, but just the times of the year, right? Like we we we've seen three of the biggest crises have happened in September, October, the third quarter of the year. And so when we tell people, and we've said this plenty of times, especially here on the show, like, all right, well, the best months to invest in, right, are November, December, mm -hmm. the end of that first quarter, and then again, right before the summer quarter, because we know, we know the system of how investments work. Um, so on, when crashes like this, not even crashes, when pullbacks happen like this, or we it study, was a slight pullback, slight yeah. pullback. Well, it, the Nasdaq almost had its worst January of all time. If it if not to, for today, it would have had the worst January in the history of the NASA. It sounds sexy. It's like Jay Z's at the lowest streaming point in his career. But that's I'm it, for 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 it teetered, teetered at a bear market for the NASA. Seventeen percent, twenty percent, twenty percent would have been yeah. It teetered. It was close. Teetered, teetered was, at a bear market. But it's a valuable learning lesson. So if it, the, uh, the volatility yeah. ratio versus the S&P 500, which is weighted more because NASDAQ has less stocks, mm -hmm. it, it is almost damn near equal. The return, someone tell me what the seven year return of NASDAQ is. There's one thing that when uh, Ben and Mike was on, in order to get great risk, there has to be great volatility tied to that stock equity or asset that you're investing in. You want something really safe, go get bonds and then you're gonna be flat or negative or slightly positive, right? That's why when Tesla drops 25%, it fucking sucks. And then when it goes up 90% in your favor, you love it. There is a ratio of volatility in a stock or asset. Like me, I'm really volatile. Prices, fire. <laughs> That's what come with it. I, now, if these entries were not great, I man, I got to be quiet as a church mouse. And I got to play the whole, you know, doing everything for the culture and I'm looking out for y'all car, you know, because a lot of people play that game and then they make y'all no money. You have to understand, like, the more volatility something has, the greatest, the greater the upside it will have. But you have to be able to stomach that risk and then buy um, yeah. in the deepest. And, and you got to have patience, too, because, I mean, um, the NASDAQ was did nothing for 10 years from mm -hmm. 2010 to two, from 2000 to 2010. Depending on where you got in, you actually are negative in the NASDAQ. Mm -hmm. for 10, that's a that's a long time. That's a decade. After, yeah. after after that, it just it just skyrocketed. Nobody to Obama. But, Quantitative easing. But nobody um wants to talk about the 10 years where they did nothing. 10 years is a long period of time. It's a decade. That's a hell of a time to build a bit. So for all my entrepreneurs, 
if, well, I know y'all never sell shares, but let's say if y'all have flat, you know, growth, which is impossible, right? But hypothetically, if you did for 10 years, that would be a great time to chip away and just build a base. Because if you're buying 5,000 shares a year for a 10 year period, when it then takes off, what, what is the value worth? It is. So even, so even when things are smooth and not going the way that you want, for my trade, the same thing. Like you ever notice it's the open the market to pop up and then it'll swing back down and then you get a little flutter and now it's flat right before 930. You know a breakout move is going to come. So what you're trading, practice your entries for your long term. And then if you hold long term, the more shares you have is the name of the game. You want to get as many blocks as possible on a record. Um, you'll be good. Like all, I know these lessons have been repeated. But the great lessons that really help you win are the ones that are based on fundamentals and won't change. I wish that was, I know y'all think it's some magical secret that I have with this crystal ball. It is me just literally picking the percentages of prices. And for those of you in real estate, if I, I'll go back to my New York example. If you can catch a brownstone right now for 32% off, are you guys going to go in? Or are you going to be like, well, it dropped 20%? No, because you know the value and the equity is going to be on the upside in a couple of years anyway. And once you do this in business and stocks, and really, it's going to go across the board. And for those of you who need income, I get it. I get it. You have to then build a business or get another job. That's the only answer. The stock market alone may not give you all the income that you want if you don't have a big enough bag. But if you go get more money and then put it into this machine that will churn out more money for you legally, you're good. So we talked about Robinhood stock at the beginning, and we talked about Tesla stock. So another company, um, Square, you've been very vocal about Square. You said mm -hmm. that you believe Square is the new JP Morgan. Yeah. Um, are you still- Shout out everybody, JP, uh, JP Morgan, who've been texting me like, ha, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> not our James Pierpont. Jack is not James, right? Um, uh, do I still believe that um, they will be the new JP Morgan? Yes. Um, cause they really came down to the area like that one 11, 112 area is why I knew we were bottom out when I looked at the technical shout out to Frederick, like he confirmed it. Um, if you guys need to average down 112 to 100 is good, but you have to realize like, and I can't say what they have coming, like I, I can't, but if you can see my face, oh baby. Um, they're just getting a team together. This, this is like when Jordan came back out of retirement. And now he's solely focused on Twitter was baseball for Jack. He had to stay right. They're getting a team together and they're getting it. Now they have a big competitor in Apple because Apple plans to take this beautiful phone that they've created and turn yeah. this into a payment processor. Mm -hmm. So they will have some competitive challenges there. But once they build this team and you notice how quiet Jack has been, I like entrepreneurs that are quiet. CEO of Microsoft, they are quiet assassins. Please write this down. Quiet assassins. Uh, Elon, even though he is a great executive, he's a loud mercenary. A lot of time he will tell his hands. And I, I really think he's trying to run up the Dogecoin and meme coin prices so he can then have an exit. Because when China put the restraints on him, he will have his exit plan. Don't think like, and people have to rem remember, Peter Thiel, Elon, and Max all traded futures. Ray Dalio traded futures. There's a reason why I tell you to go study this market. Like, did you guys know Ray Dalio created the chicken nugget, McNugget for McDonald's based off trading corn? Levels to this game. You think he's talking about, out of all the stuff Elon can talk about, you think he's picking meme coins on accident? Mm -mm. So give Square and Jack a little bit of time. I'll say give them six months. And I'll have an issue saying that I'm wrong um, if I am, but for anyone that's using it on a business side, if you use any other payment processor in comparison, it's hell on earth to deal with. Um, at least if your account gets flagged at Square, it's really quick. You may not get the answer that you want, but it's a little bit more smooth than PayPal. Give it a few months. They'll, they'll be smooth selling. And then uh, like in three years, I have them going to 305.57. So that'll be good. You have it. There you have it. We will monitor the situation with Square. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube, yeah. 9,000 9, people on a check-in. We the, get to a smooth 10. I'm going to go crazy again. Drop that bomb for him. I got you. This, this day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? This day. Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda Anthem.
Orlando, what's good?